fake caustic techniques. So I have this bath right here. Um, this is the render actually that went and um, oops, I gotta open it in Photoshop. This is the pure render and uh, as you see here um, the good caustics can work really good in this scene. However, when I try to activate and use uh, use the caustics, um, I started getting different rendering bugs. And in order to, uh, I didn't have really time to solve to solve those bugs. So uh, V-Ray sometimes produces that. That's uh, that's okay. I call it uh, disco disco lights. It's small dots that just start to fill up your scene and uh, probably the wrong measurements or some texture was not applied properly and something something wrong and sometimes you don't have time to go and figure out what's wrong um, so you can't actually use caustics in that scene and caustics is in rendering settings right here I just put it on I'm gonna close those guys and I'm gonna gonna talk a little bit uh, re about rendering settings in the next scene but I'm using global subdivisions multiplier this guy multiplies everything all the subdivisions so it just makes your quality two times in my in my case three times more so I'm gonna bring it back to one uh, threshold to 0.5 just to get a quicker render um, I'm gonna switch from brute force to irradiance map irradiance map is pretty quick and I'm gonna put those guys 25 and 25 and the light cache it was a really high production rendering so I'm gonna put 500 I'm gonna put 8 number of passes in this dialog pre-calculation is really good I put 50 just to smooth it out and I don't use any filters and I use uh, light glossy cache uh, light cache for glossy rays uh, this one optimizes all the glossy reflections in your scene if you're using light cache so always tick this on I think by default it's off um, frame buffer I also don't need to save passes and global switches I remove this filter map because we don't want to double filter everything I close my anti-aliasing filter. I use V-Ray Sync filters, really good. Um, but you can also achieve the same stuff with Photoshop by adding Sharpen. So Sharpen and Sync filter, they pretty much the same. Um, adaptive DMC is a high production. As you see here in my Adaptive DMC, I'm using 116 and I'm also uh, deactivating it from taking DMC sampler threshold from here it takes it from here and it uses right here in the in the image sampler I, I actually deactivate it and I gave it 0 0.2 so it will be really really nice and accurate alright so I'm not gonna use it because it takes a lot of time I'm just gonna switch it to adaptive subdivision and use the default one um, so my render will go and I'll get really fast results uh, environment nothing to it color mapping using Reinhardt multiplier one and the burn value was one but I removed it uh, I lowered it down to point 74 75 actually also was 75 uh, and the gamma I'm using 2.2 but in this case I wanted to give to have more colors and a little bit more darker and dramatic look not so washed out so I gave gamma 1.6 uh, towards the end I do this stuff I do the change gamma always towards the end all right um rendering settings let's go with something about 800 just to get a to have quick results and i'll press render oops i need to save it so let's just save it in the bath and uh, let's save it here call it test jpeg I usually use say PNGs for post-production, but JPEG will work fine. 
Okay, so I'm gonna press render and see what's going on. As you see here, the first pass is actually building caustics, uh, caustics, the photon maps, because um, it's a separate pass that needs to be calculated uh, prior uh, the beginning of render. So it first calculates the caustics. Um, if someone doesn't know what caustic mean. Caustics. Caustics is a really nice reflections, kind of kind of sparkling uh, lights that are being bounced from the shadow up, and water, glass, even mirrors can produce caustics. So we can see here different examples. If we go into images, we can see how uh, how caustics works. So uh, in my scene, I was not able to do it. As you see here, I was getting those white, white dots here all over the place. I call it disco lights. Um, it's a it's a rendering bug basically that comes from either the scene is not in the proper uh, dimension or there is not good alignment to texture. No UV mapping on some object uh, can be caused, or maybe some DWG files that kind of been linked and dragging well something causing this error and by isolating the problem you can get and and get it solved but uh, in my case I was not able to solve it because I didn't have enough time so what I did was uh, I went back turned the caustics off and I used uh, my method for manipulating caustics making fake caustics and this fake caustics I'm actually doing with one light, one Omni light. Let me show you. I'm gonna bring it right here into my scene. I'm gonna share this file with you so you'll be able to see and download and have it also on your computer um, and test it, test it out. Okay, so I'm gonna drop it here. Uh, this is my Omni light right here so I'm gonna bring it to the place where the water where the Sun actually hits the water so it's just above the bath let me just open the render so somewhere here I want to place my caustics because it will bounce right here let me just draw the caustics will will come in here, will bounce from here and will start to spread out from this point everywhere and would fill up the room. Okay, so this is a really nice solution. Um, here's some images by the way with the fake caustics. Here's one image. It's actually light that's been placed here with the shadows and it's producing. As you see here, the results is really nice looks looks pretty natural even though it's fake so you need to tweak it a little bit to get to the point um, it's not always just drag and drop and it will work perfectly you need to find the right dimension the right size the right intensity to the light but then you can get really nice and natural look to it okay so you're dropping the omni light as I did here just above the point where the light hits the water like this and I'm gonna press C get to my camera and go and check out this light so as you see here I'm using V-Ray shadows and intensity is uh, 8.5 kind of bluish in advanced effects I have this guy here let me pull up my texture editor. So this is what you do. It's uh, at the beginning it's empty, but when you open it, you have you have it here. This is this is the texture. So you load it up like this, and then you drag and drop it into the slot, and you say instance, and boom, you have it in your projection map. So uh, you will actually projecting uh, the light. So the black will not project anything, but 
the white will project the light so uh, tiling is the size you, you should always adjust the size according to your uh, to your scene so let's just click render and see what we're getting here as I can see we're not getting much just because I think we need to increase the size of that caustics so let me take this guy here and make it bigger so we see, we have start we have end and I'm gonna increase kind of fill the room with this guy I'm gonna go on top view press Z Z just to see how this how big it is so something like that that will just cover the room will work fine as you see here the end circle is covering my entire room okay now I'm gonna go back press uh, render and I think we start getting a little bit of caustics on those on those sides here and the walls here just to emphasize the effect let me increase the multiply the multiplier I'm gonna put 38 at the beginning at the default it is been set up to 8 but I just want to see if it's there if it's working and I think we can see that in the walls right here going on it's pretty good yeah we can see it right here definitely and here I really like the uh, light cache pre-calculation because you can actually see how this works how it actually interferes and works with your scene so yeah we're getting really nice caustics right here um, that fills our room um, maybe the multiplier of uh, 3.8 is a little bit too strong let me change the let me change the direction of render I don't want it to start from left to right so from this I want to have this first and then the other side and the reverse sequence made it may made it render from right to left as you see here started on this side so I don't want to render it on this side I actually want to see what's going on on that side so I'm gonna uh, remove the reverse sequence and let it run from left to right um, yeah while this render is being executed we can check out a little bit other um, more uh, examples this is really nice caustic as you see here you can get uh, different shadows that you can use even colorized caustics uh, which is pretty good um, caustics adds a lot of rendering time to your uh, to your render so be very careful by using real caustics unless it's really really necessary um, this uh, really quick uh, solution for fake caustics uh, works works really good as you see here those scenes that been made this one looks a little bit more fake maybe but um, those, those, this one and, uh, and this one looks pretty good and I really like the highlights when it's making here and it's, here it's kind of soft because it's far away so uh, this, this stuff works pretty good and we come back to our render as you see here this is uh, a little bit too strong because I increased to 3.8 maybe I should reduce this 0.85 as it should be and uh, render it again so we'll get really nice and soft and as far as it goes it's kind of dims and the closer it to the to the room the closer it to the object it's really strong but uh, far caustics like this one on the ceiling uh, like this one on the ceiling is really really soft it's barely there but we cannot I said um, and it's it's this is how it should work you know this caustics works really really naturally 
Okay, so by placing it close to the water or close to the objects, I believe the caustics, the, the, the Omni is somewhere here, because this is the closest one. Uh, let me just maybe mark it. Like this, so the caustics, the Omni probably, oops. The Omni light is probably somewhere here. And just because this is so close to it, it produces here much more. Uh, there's we get much more appearance of the light, and the, the the longer it gets, right here, the less the less we get. But it's still present. It's still there. All right. So yeah, eight point five is really working well. Maybe I need to adjust a little bit more. Maybe I need to adjust the size. I might look and get for some references. But um, this is the way to go, and I'm also going to share this file with you. So I'm going to take it, save it as, call it fake, fake caustics, and uh, save it and share it with you guys later on. All right, so uh, let's move on and let me show you some more advanced stuff.